doing? Mama, it blew. You want to make an airplane out of it? Mm. Oh boy, that sounds like naughty behavior. I want an airplane. Okay, so make an airplane then. Hello, internet friends. Good morning. Welcome back. This is Sierra and a serious case of mask nose, but that is the pandemic life. Anyways, um, as you can tell, I'm at a restaurant right now. I have little man here with me, and he's, I think he's making an airplane, but. You wanna say hi? Hi. He is not into talking to the cam today, which is fine. Anyways, little man and I are out and doing some browsing in Tachikawa because the lush Valentine's Day range is out today, which is exciting, and I wanted to check it out. Also because they're running low on a lot of our Japanese groceries that we usually keep in our house, so I need to pick up some of those. I got some feedback on one of my Lucky Bag videos in the comment section that you guys wanted to see more of Little Man and I just doing like regular things. So this is a video of us doing regular things. Today we are going to do some shopping in Tachikawa. Actually, we're in Tachikawa right now, and right now we're at lunch, so we're gonna eat some curry and probably do a little browsing in the shopping center since we'll already be at the Lumina Shopping Center anyway. We go to the supermarket and honestly, I'm just kind of getting us out today to get some exercise before things start to get yucky here again. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy. I think our curry is almost ready because I heard him just call a number. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, such a hard choice. Soyoba katsu yeah. with rice or airplane time? Airplane time? All right, just a couple more minutes. And then that's my curry. Got the regular vegetable curry with a soy patty because it's pretty delicious. And little man for some reason hates the sauce, so now he just gets soy katsu with rice. Don't do it, sir. What do you think? Good? Yeah. Mm. This one's crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, come on. Hey guys, we're on our way to our next shopping location. We're all full of curry. And we are heading to a secondhand shop called Book Off. Some locations only sell secondhand books, but they also sell DVDs, electronics, clothes, stuff like that. Although I guess the ones that sell clothes are called Hard Off. But anyways, um, Book Off is kind of like a brand and then it branches out from there. But this is a Book Off Super Bazaar. I don't know if you guys can see the sign. It's up there. And we are going there today because last season I was able to get Little Man a really expensive Japanese jacket for about a thousand yen, which is about ten dollars. But the original price of the jacket when I found it in shop was like a hundred dollars. So we're gonna see if we can do that again. Ooh, baby Burberry. Why? <laughs> I don't know if that's your size, friend. Let's look over here. Yeah, yeah, those will fit you maybe. Next revolution, refined, we can express. Perfect, authentic team. Is this come on it or do you guys think these are sewn on? Strong willed 75 posh the envelope. I don't know. Is there anything on the back? No, I think it is a brand because I found another one. Either that or the same person did the same thing with two different jackets. I don't know. I don't think that's your size, buddy. It is pretty cool though. I like the design too. I know you want that one, but I think this one is too small for you. Yeah, you've never been a size 95, my friend. At least not while you've been home. All right, so we are in the hard off now and we are shopping and just looked at kids' clothes. It's a really tiny kids section, but sounds like good stuff, but not today. Um, as I was thinking about it, I thought I would just mention this as we walked through the beautiful person section. Um, if you're shopping for kids clothing in Japan, the sizes go by their height, not necessarily like how round they are. So like for example, Little Man is a 120. So that's about a size, I would say six or so in US sizes, if anyone's wondering. So 
Yeah, they go up. Usually it's 10 centimeters per year is what they guess. So yeah, that's that. Oh, are you gonna look at me? Shoppy shopping. They also have fancy purses. Let's go see what they've got. I never buy them, but I like to look at them. They don't have that much Chanel today. You can see it, it's fine. They have pretty necklaces though. Yeah. Yeah. Well that ring is really pretty, isn't it? You want that one? Yeah, I want that one too. So pretty. You have 1600 in your pocket, sir? Uh, yeah. You do? Yeah. I think it costs a lot more than what's in your piggy bank. All right, friends, what are y'all gonna have to ha help me out? Okay, so this bag is massive and it costs about $600. And then there's this little tiny bitty bag, finger for comparison, it costs seven hundred dollars, and the one next to it is five hundred dollars. Why? Explain it to me. Maybe it's vintage. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. It's like one eighty. I think new. This would be like over three hundred dollars. So that's actually a really good price. But I don't think I need a bow bag that much. One of your uncles loves Goku too. Hey there guys. As you guys can see, I'm currently in a pet store right now with Little Man. Um, and the couple of stories you've been reading lately, there's a lot of different kinds of pets in them. Uh, especially, it's specifically the Dr. Seuss book about where the little girl and little boy pick out a pet and they go to a pet store and I told little man that if he could read it all by himself that we would go to a pet store and see some of the animals. So, he's having a really fun time. He's really enjoying the fish section, which I don't know, I didn't think he would. I thought he would like the little furry animals more, but whatever. Anyways, um, our family usually does not buy anything for a pet store unless we're in a situation where we can't get our dog's food uh, anywhere except a pet store because pet stores in Japan are really not good for the animals because a lot of them are either trafficked or the puppies and kittens all, I can't say for sure all, but I would say maybe 99% of the animals in pet stores in Japan, probably even more, come from mills and our family doesn't like to support that so we usually don't spend money in pet stores but that being said I don't think there's any harm in looking at them as long as you don't spend any money. As we were walking around, little man really is expressing interest in getting a pet mouse. So I think that if we go to the 100 yen shop after this, I'm gonna pick him up a little toy mouse so he can have the pet and put it in with his little pet dinosaurs. Or I think he also is looking at the lizards, so maybe we'll get a fake lizard to play with at home. I don't know, but yeah, look at how much fun he's having. You wanna go see that? What? Oh, look at that. All kinds of little animals, huh? Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, that is a hedgehog. Little chickens. Little mice. Uh, you can go in there, that's fine. Oh. What do you see? Oh, are you looking at the little kitty? Look at him, his right his left eye is barely opening. Either he's sick or he's way too tiny. Hey little 
kitty. You look so sad in there. Um, uh, what? What's he doing? Walking? Yeah. No, he's swimming. Swimming. Yeah, there really are a lot of frogs here. Are you having fun? Do you like the animals? Yeah. Which animal is your favorite? Um, the what? Fish? The fish? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Maybe like it eats like the dirty stuff in the tank. It's an algae eater, I think. Oh. Don't Wait, are they dead? It's trying to escape. Mama. Yeah? Oh, look at all those tetras. I think they're called tetras. I don't know. Just a boy in his Mario coloring book. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mr. Independent. He's got the soy yogurt. He's got the orange juice. What else is he gonna pick up today? Oh, careful. 